everybody, it's your boy Titan and Free Jack, and I'm back at you again with another video. I would like to welcome you guys back to the channel. If you guys would like to continue to follow me along this journey as I build my sneaker collection, there's a list of my socials right there on the screen. Also, I need a favor, guys. I need you to smash that like button, leave a comment on today's video, letting me know what you think of the sneaker, and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Would like to do so and support the channel. Now, today we got an early review for you guys. Uh, this sneaker is paying homage to the the guy that the shoe is named after. Without further delay, let's get into the sneaker. Here's the box. We have a gray Jordan box. Nike and white lettering on top. Nike on the side. This is a Air Jordan 1 style box. You have 1985 right here, Air Jordan 1. And take a look at that box tag. You will see it's Air Jordan 1, Retro High OG. And this is a size 12. Colorway is stealth and white. I believe the retail needs gonna be around 170, 180 US dollars. Here is your last stamp right here. Red last stamp. See that side. You have your uh, white tissue paper right here. And here we go. Ooh. Here we go, guys. We have the Air Jaw Retro One Stealth. Looking at the sneaker at first sight, you can see it's some good quality leather on here. But let's get right into it. You have that some white leather on your quarter panels, your eyelets, your uh, mud guard going around that toe. You have a stealth grease swoosh, and it is very soft to the touch. The leather is very soft to the touch, guys. You have that stealth gray leather going around your ankle collar, also on the heel of the sneaker. You have a white uh, midsole with the stell gray at the very bottom. And don't forget that Jordan Wings logo is branded on. You can see that in that stell colorway. And we're gonna get to the outsole of the sneaker. We have a typical Jordan 1 outsole of the sneaker in the stell gray colorway. Give you guys a look at the back of the sneaker. You have white leather going on here. It's kind of stiff on this pair, but Nonetheless, it's still some good leather. And going around to the medial side of the sneaker, you can really see that this stealth gray leather is some quality leather. They went, I don't know, they went and got this leather from far away somewhere and used that on the sneaker. You can see it's wrapped around the ankle collar coming from the other side. The swoosh coming from the other side. And the heel coming from the other side in the stealth gray colorway. You have that white on your quarter panels, around down your uh, lace eyelets, your mud guard, and going around that toe box. Also, you have white on that midsole with the stealth gray at the very bottom. Okay, here we go. Look at the cardboard shoe tree. Say it's size 12, 12 and a half. You got the George Jumpman logo on here. And you turn it around. Y'all can see that. Say it's die cut sock liner. It look like they've been going back and forth between die cut sock liner and, and molded sock liner, I believe. Also, this is the insert. Insert appears to be some good t-shirt material. You can see the sizing sticker on here. Also, Nike Air and white lettering. And this is the back. I remember this insert with the Jordan 1 Visionary. I do have a video for that. Y'all can check that out after you watch this video and you can see how uh, thick the insert is. Not sure how comfortable it is because I haven't worn a pair of Jordan that consists of this insert. So if anybody out there have actually worn these or the visionaries that have uh, this insert, comment down below. Let me know uh, what y'all think about uh, the comfort of that sneaker. And this is your extra set of laces. Your white laces come rolled up in a brown box. It's probably recyclable. And you can see it has the Jordan Jumpman logo on here. And it says shoelaces on the front. And look on the back, it also says move to zero with the recyclable logo. And you can see a Jordan Jumpman as well. And let's see what else they got on here. 
Well, yeah, y'all can read that little paragraph at the very bottom. And then right here it says something else about Nike, something pertaining to the environment. But getting back to the sneaker, look at the toe box. Look how nice that leather is. It is nice, wrinkle and crinkle cut like some raisin cane french fries. Them cheap ass fries, crinkle cut. Comes factory lace with your snail gray laces. And you already saw the additional laces. We have a nylon white tongue and you have a woven leather patch made from a, I'm sorry, made in that stealth gray colorway. And you have Nike Air embroidered on in white. And on the back, this is what it says, quietly inspired by the greatest player ever. And you have a picture of a goat. And this was rumored to be goat leather that they was actually using on this sneaker. And looking at the, uh, the inside of the sneaker going around the ankle, the material on here is some fine material in the still green colorway. It's nice. Not sure what it is, but it's plush. And let's give you guys a look at that sizing tag. It says US size 12. Production date says January 19th of this year to March 21st of this year. So about two months of productions with these guys. So let me know what y'all think of these Air Jordan Retro 1 Stealth. These are set to come out at the end of the month of August. You know, I was able to get a pair in hand to do this early review for you guys. So let me know y'all thoughts on this sneaker down in the comment section. And I'm going to end the video off. And like I always tell you, if you can help somebody get a sneaker, help them get that sneaker because you never know. It will be your turn to need help getting the sneaker. I'm Titanic Feet Jack, signing out.